Alright, everything was dependent upon that. Sacrifice! And we win! Suck it, sucker fish! That was fun. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host, recently voted sexiest voice in YouTube videos related to magic card content by Your Mom Magazine, Dr. You Can't Suck It. Yes, thank you. Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. You can't suck it. Word to my mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters. And I'm bringing to you a deck of my own creation called, well, it's Black Artifacts. I just got really tired of writing out the word artifact. So it says Black Art right up there. The Black Arts. <coughs> so anyways, this is like a mono black deck, except for the fact that there's so many artifact cards to here. It's pretty much a dual colored deck where the other card is just really forgiving. What color is that? Artifact color. That's what it is. All right. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in the deck. We're going to talk a little bit about what it's going to do. And then we're going to go out and we're going to crush some hopes and dreams. All right. So what we're doing, we're trying to like play the game so we could build up until eventually throwing down Cityscape Leveler and Port of Rexia. These guys are super cool. We got a bunch of uh, artifact ramp in here. And we got some stuff to do while we're waiting, essentially. What we got? We're going to kill creatures, kill creatures, kill creatures, kill some more creatures, and then go after their hand a little bit, go after their hand, put out some power stones between all that, potentially turn creatures into blood-sucking vampire enchantments, just trickles away their life one every turn, keeps you stronger. Uh, Karn comes out, puts out more power stones so that you can get to Might Stone and Weak Stone super quick, killing more creatures or drawing cards. Eventually, you'll have like 10 mana by turn 5, so you can start throwing out full strength Flesh Gorger, Cityscape Below the Lower Portal of Phyrexia. And for good measure, we got a little shoulder mixed in, because if I'm sitting around waiting for stuff to happen, it might as well be while well, high-fiving 10 of the 400 arms of Shoulder of the Apocalypse. All right, that's it. So what are we doing? We're killing things, putting out some dudes, and then trying to build up our artifact man as best as possible so we can lay down the law and teach them they should never come up against you playing black artifact deck. All right, so before we go out and do our damage, let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Dear Black King Toxroll, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, please hear my prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies See them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. We're playing against Zat Poo. It's a good old fashioned name right out of the Bible. Keep. Where's your pet, Zat Poo? Ah, there he comes now. Being hauled down from up above. We got a long way to go until we get to Cityscape level or Portal of Phyrexia. Go get him, Beetle. These guys are good just to throw out on somebody when we put something out. He's not doing it. There's a Power Stone. And another one. All right, we're rocking in what? One, two, three, four, five, six mana. You can do it, Living Legacy. Not important. Yeah, let's eat that guy's lunch.
This is gonna rocket us up to where we need to be at. Let's draw some cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Is there any creatures out at all yet? I think we're always waiting for creatures to come out, right? He just really wanted to kill something, apparently. Yeah, I'm not going to go after your battle. Whoops. I think I forgot to do something. What are you going to do? You can draw a card to put out a vampire. All right, everything was dependent upon that. Sacrifice! And we win! Suck it, sucker fish! That was fun. All right, we're playing against Jamboroni. Interesting curve we got here. I mean, turn two, we can kill something. Turn three, we get into the Thran Spider, which means turn four, we'd be able to put out the Might Snow Weak Stone. All right, come on, Jambroni. Don't make me open the pods on you. These things were green at some point. Maybe because the game hasn't started yet, they're still orange or something. Still, still orange. Yeah, get in there. Get in. Jump in there, Chomper. There's a guy. I'll have five next turn. What's he going to put out? Nothing worth worrying about, apparently. Let's just put out another spider. All right, no, nine more turns to go. Don't get upset, Chomper. Hey, man, you're on my side. You're not on his. I know what it, what it looks like there, right? There's some more. Do I have seven? I do! Alright, you got lots of artifact mana there.
Don't be playing stupid squig bass on me. Is that's it? My best is you can play Squig Face. Portal of Phyrexia, wow. All right, good luck with that, baby. Because guess what's coming up on my side here? Yoink. All right, come on. Keep them alive. Don't, have, don't do anything about it. No, 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 no. Don't be looking at your graveyard. I don't got time for this crap. Stop it. Stop looking at your graveyard. I mean, you're dead. There we go. Woo! He was freaking me out there with all that graveyard touching. Victory! I have been against non Jacques, non Jacques. Kill, kill, little children. And we're on the board. Nothing to do until he puts a creature out. He's playing Gruul. There's going to be creatures here. Oh, wait. I want to put out the Tithing Blade. Think shoulder to live very long. It's kind of big for that kind of mana. Playing with dinosaurs there. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him, shoulder. Punch him in the face. Use your little squiggly arms. All right, we can clear the board with uh, what we got. A little go for the throat, infernal grasp. Yeah, that's fine. Pass the combat. Kill her. Four, five. Yeah, that's it. All right, Nanja Chris, you are dead. Yeah, we're playing against Alaskali. Alaskali. Keep. These are expensive. We're going to go for a cheap Rexian Flesh Gorger, I think, is what's going to happen. My friend, you are Art Deco. You are in the wrong space. I'll touch your precious anyway. Touch it. There we go. Look at me. Yeah, you're doing it. All right, Thrain Spider. 
As we have to four, one more mana we can put out a Mike Stone Weak Stone. I'm gonna touch it. That looks weird. It doesn't look right. Yeah, yeah. It looks more, uh, I don't know, opaque than normal. And sparkly. Ah. Man, I love her, Brass Forge. Exactly what I don't need right now, but whatevs. Not the man I'm looking for. All right, come on. I just need some mana. Mana me up. That's it. Let's go drink that guy's milkshake. Put up to four, five, six, seven. That's a full on flesh quarter. If I get another mana, I'll just go shoot that thing in the head. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. All right, you can chump if you want. You do not want. I'm gonna get, if you attack, I will get seven life. You'll make two dudes you could block. Interesting. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Ah, where's that mana that I need so badly? Go get him, Yurtle. All right, 22. And this is the part where I just get stuck not getting my next mana, huh? All right, you're just top decking it right now. Okay, I know you're just trying to get that thing going. That's a lot. There we go. All right, Cityscape Leveler, doing your level best. No attacks. So let me pick up seven life along the way.
You want to attack? Come on in, yo. You don't want to do that. Unless you're going to swarm me, you do not want to do that. Come on, pull it back. Don't do it. You don't have anything to do, man. That's just, just nothing. I mean, I guess you're not doing anything with it anyway, right? All right, I'm going to leave Flesh Gorger back as a defender. All right, go ahead and pile them all up. All right, you are down to three, my friend. This is not going well for you. That better be the greatest card in the world right there. Most likely like a board wipe. It's what you need, otherwise you are toast. Apparently it was not board wipe. Victory! All right, we're playing against a person's bunch of letters and numbers. Vuka Vuka 77. All right, we got ways to go till we're going to do anything. We picked up a lot of mana somehow. Two, uh, Three. All right, we could chew up the uh, surge protector, the surge engine here next turn. I choose to kill. No attacks. Okay, great. Let's go see what he's got in his hand. No more Tezzeret. There we go. We got a little bit of damage in. I'm down to 13. How did that happen? I guess it's the hot shot mechanic, right? He's got nothing in his hand. We're not getting to anything good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go for four, five.
All right, we'll just chill out. He's not getting a lot of strength. I'm not getting a lot of strength. Shoulder's going to do a good job. I just got to get, get, get her out. He's a 19. It's crazy. He's like, I got to kill the planeswalker. It must be done. And we win. Victory. All right, so we are with mono black artifacts. And it ended up being a very good deck. I mean, the win rate on this thing, 71%. Uh, yeah, very decent. I mean, the big thing about it is it's a lot of what? Mono black control. We're just like taking out dudes left and right. Uh, Titan Blade is a great card for that. We're not good at taking out swarms, though. That's one of the problems. Uh, and then eventually you get your big guys, and the big guys are pretty unstoppable. Except for the fact that tonight we were seeing Cityscape Leveler just getting killed left and right. So it wasn't as cool as you'd hoped. Where's Portal of Phyrexia? I mean, there's only two in the deck. We're not really searching for anything, so and we don't have a lot of card draw either. Still, it was interesting, and it, it worked out more times than not. I guess that's the thing, is that you kind of want your decks to be just like these omnipotent power gods that nothing can stop against. But you got to have let your decks kind of suffer to a certain extent. You know, it's it's about winning. It's not about being the total god of wonder and anarchy the entire time. All right, so let's see. Who was the MVP, the most valuable player? And, uh, you know, in decks like this, it's always Thran Spider. Thran Spider is just so incredible. Just because it is so much value. It's easy to get the three mana. A lot of times you have three mana in your opening hand. And, and Thran Spider will get you up to four if you're playing a lot of artifacts. And we are. So, uh, yeah, Thran Spider is a fantastic value machine. And then after you got that out there, it's a 2-4 with Reach, which is such a great blocker. Does an incredible job jumping. And if you can get up to seven artifact mana, which is not hard to do with a rampy deck like this, you can start looking for stuff and just putting it right in your hand. That Thran Spider is just a little energizer buddy of great things to do. So, uh, yeah, I got to say, I mean, there's a lot of good cards in his hand, but Thran Spider is the MVP, the most valuable player. Congratulations, Thran Spider. You are going to Disneyland. Secondly, was this deck competitive? You know, we picked up a 71% win rate. I got to say, yeah, it's probably a competitive deck. Um, you know, when I put together my own decks, I always... It's kind of rip on them a little bit just because you just you don't have that level of confidence. You're picking up other people's decks. You're like, oh, yeah, this deck is kick ass. 71% speaks a good story. So I'm going to say, yes, it is a competitive deck. It's a competitive deck. Number two, was it fun? Um, yeah. I mean, the reason why I thought it was fun. For me, it has to have early game aggro, right? And, and that's not too much. But you do have a Thran Spider at three. You got the Virus Beetle at two. Uh, you got all that control helping you out big time, and we got a lot of it. You got Cut Down, Go for the Throw, Infernal Grass, Tithing Blade, all of that helping you with control. Uh, I like the fact that we got enough good ramp coming up between Gix's Caress, Thran Spider, and Karn Living Legacy, and Mightstone Weakstone just totally pumping us up into super mega levels. The only thing we need probably is a little bit more card draw, but Black's not necessarily known for its card draw. I mean, it is if you're going to be doing some sacrifice. Nah, I'm not. I'm not going for that, baby. Anyways, uh, was it a fun deck? Yeah. I mean, there's not a lot of creaturing going on. And sometimes you would you would build up a bunch of mana and then not have anywhere to go with it. So uh, it's just as long as you can get out Phyrexia and Flesh Gorger, Cityscape Level or Portal Phyrexia, usually the game would go space awesome. Get now shouldered, space awesome. All right, let's talk about was this deck interesting? Um, yeah, well, the reason why is because it's a mono black deck, but it's also an artifact deck. And so therefore it's not, it's really a dual color deck as far as I'm concerned. It's just that the second color is very easy to get because anything does it. If anything, it's just, you're making all that extra power stone kind of stuff that the other side of your deck can't use, which gets a little frustrating, but the amount of black that we need is not much. I mean, Shouldred needs two black mana 
I mean, I guess that's the thing. Is it costs four for her? You can't use the power stones for it, but you can get to four pretty decent. Everything else is three or less. Yeah, it's not hard getting together the regular mana to do three or less. Therefore, our mana supply is is decent. Um, I you know when I put Karn Living Legacy in here, I thought that uh, it would be it was the other one that when you put out like you get a certain amount of mana equal to the number of artifacts you have out or something like that. Um, this one actually did very well, just sitting there and pumping out power stones every single turn. Pow, 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 pow. And I really didn't care. As long as it was pumping out two or three different power stones, it really got me where I really wanted to be, which was up into the seven, eight, nine levels so I could put out the other cards. Altogether, yeah, it was a good blend. It was interesting because we were playing with something that's not being played in the meta right now. It was good to go. All right, so let's add that up. Was it competitive? Yes. Was it fun? Yes. Was it interesting? Yeah, totally. So by the barest of margins i'm going to give this deck an a plus i'm going to say this is an a plus deck all right and as i'm required by federal law to say this deck is so choice i would highly recommend you pick one up should you have the means that's all for now if you enjoyed this video please make sure to like and subscribe from all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of uncommonly good mtg have a great day in the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.